the women's reservation bill is a poor promise of the BJP. Yet, many leaders had to urge them to bring this bill and to pass it. Our leader Kalengar had written to the Prime Minister in 2014 to pass this bill. Madam Sonia Gandhi wrote to the Prime Minister in 2017 requesting him to pass this bill. Our Chief Minister M.K. Stalin wrote to the Prime Minister again in 2017 requesting and urging the government to pass the bill. He said, the bill which was moved to empower women's voice in the legislatures and parliament of our great nation is struggling to succeed. This is really disheartening. The DMK even conducted a rally in De Delhi from the Mandi house to the Jantar Mantar and we had a march and like-minded women leaders and uh, women's organizations participated in the rally. I myself have raised this issue uh, of bringing the reservation bill many times in parliament and to many of my starred and unstarred questions, the government's reply was very consistent. They said that they have to involve all stakeholders, political parties and then build a consensus before bringing the bill. I'd like to know what consensus was built, what discussions were held. This bill was brought shrouded in secrecy. We did not know why this uh, uh, session, session was called for. Uh, in the all party leaders meeting, there was no mention of this bill. Uh, I don't know if any of the political party leaders were called for discussions no, and deliberations no, 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 no. about bringing the bill. And uh, suddenly, the bill popped up from a computer screens like Jack in the Box. <laughs> is this going to be the way this government is going to function? Like we've suddenly seen that there are lotuses blooming, springing from the uniforms of our secretariat staff. Is everything going to be a surprise like this? In spite of all this, when the Prime Minister mentioned the Women's Reservation Bill and when our own Meghwalji um, act, um, uh, introduced the bill, our minds were so full of happiness and the lines of Mahakavi Bharati rang in my heart. Patangal alvadum, satangal saivadum, parinil pengal nadatta vandum, yetum arivinil anithinge pen ilaipilet taan endru kummi adi which, if I translate, says that we have come to make laws and to rule. Now we are equals and let us cherish it. But then, like the crows and crows of my sisters who are waiting for this bill to be passed, my heart also sank when you said we had to wait for it and we don't know when actually the bill is going to be implemented. In 2010, when the bill was brought by the UPA government, there was no conditions. The bill was to take effect immediately after the passage of the bill. But the bill which was presented yesterday clearly says the reservation in Clause 5, it states the reservation of seats for women in the house of the people, the legislative assembly of the state and the legislative assembly of the national capital territory of Delhi shall come into effect after an exercise of delimitation is undertaken for this purpose, after the relevant figures for the first census taken after the commencement of the constitution. I, our leader... Mutuvel Karunanadi Stalin, in his statement today, has said that India is the only country which has not conducted the decadal census. And if delimitation is going to be based on population census, it will deprive and reduce the representation of the South Indian states. It will become like a sword hanging on our heads. 
Yes. He has said that we support the bill. But he's, he asked this question. Why should the implementation be connected to the delimitation? Yes, why? And it is, he says it is a strange drama staged by the BJP, keeping in mind the 2029 elections, I mean 2024 elections. And we cannot ignore the representation for women from the backward classes either. He has emphasized that the doubts and the fear in the minds of the people of Tamil Nadu and the southern South Indian states about our representation being reduced should be clarified and we, yes. there is a fear in the minds of the people that our voices will be undermined. There should be a clear clarification about this because we do not want our representation to be reduced in any way and uh, just because we, uh, you can not give a reply saying we will not be uh, you know underrepresented because the numbers will be the same and other states will get more representation. This, the, as it is, this has to continue so that we get uh, equal say in what is being discussed. Padagam Chaibavarai Kandal Nam Bayankulla Lakadu Papa Modi Viditu Vidu Papa Our Mugatil Umurundu Vidu Papa Unmai Sadi Gadai Udanukudan Tarindu Gulla Yunain Duringal Yam Nadu Tolekachi Yudan